I understand that this is your first leading role in a film. How was that for you? This being my first leading role was definitely just, I had to sit back and go, oh my goodness, I can't believe this is happening. Doing other movies like Doctor Little 1 and 2 and Princess Diaries, understanding the process definitely got me prepared to take on this kind of responsibility. Loved it. Loved it. Let's do it some more. How much can you relate to your character, Melanie? Um, I can relate to her a lot because I understand, you know, sometimes in your mind you might be ready to, you know, get away from the family and your family's not ready to get away from you. So you just sit there and you're like, well, how can we, you know, do this together and gradually grow and, and still have my life and, and uh, you had yours. But at the same time, even though she wants to be a lawyer, at least she has a plan with her life and I have a plan with mine too. Do you have a plan? Um, no, it's okay, we'll talk about it later. It's okay. You're doing good now. You're journalizing. I Tell me, it. oops, sorry. No, it didn't. Tell me about your favorite scene and the most challenging scene in the movie. My favorite scene would have to be uh, the skydiving scene, and the most challenging scene would have to be the scene where I have to cry in front of Martin because I don't like to cry, I don't like to be sad, and having to, like, you know, dig up emotions that I've hidden for a reason and bring them up on film is just something that is a little bit harder for me to do than comedy. Did you guys really go skydiving? Well, we jumped out of the plane, but we landed like two feet later. Um, we, we were up on a rig, like 40 feet up in the air. That's about as much as I'm going to get to skydiving. Would you go skydiving? No. Good idea. <laughs> were you nervous about the skydiving? skydiving? When they said that I had to skydive, that was like one of the major calls. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'll work with the pig. I will work with anyone else, but I'm not doing the skydiving. However, I've been indoor skydiving, which is so much fun. You have accomplished so much in your career, and you're still very young. What else would you like to do? What else would I want to do? I want to have a restaurant, and I have a website called Raven Simone Presents that is uh, crafting and, and cooking and lifestyle, so I want to you know, maybe do a show for that. And then you never know. There's always something new to do, and there's always dreams to accomplish. Okay, one more question. All right. Tell us about your new CD coming out soon. My new CD is self-titled. It's coming out in April, and I'll be on tour from April until August. And it's fun, upbeat. It talks about self-confidence and self-respect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wait, you're stuck. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, and I'll take that away. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Pardon? I was just playing. <laughs> Social work. Okay. I understand that this is your first thing. Hold on, hold on. I was prepared. Oops, I need to prepare myself. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now? Yeah.